strand on. This is the busiest summer in gaming ever. If busy means not busy. But I had a choice. I could just stay at home and bitch about it all day like a little shyskopf or catch up on the games that I missed. So I decided to do a video on Trevor James. <laughs> Check it out! But now, Uncharted 4. The developers actually didn't want me to review it. I'm not joking. Check my inbox. Not a single email from them. Coincidence? Don't be naive. After three games, I thought we knew Drake. I know it now. And even though FuzzyTube met Drake last night, I gotta say that, uh, well, I, 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 we don't. As it turns out, he grew up in an orphanage raised by foxy ebony nuns. Hashtag me too, please. But he ain't all by himself. His older brother is there too, so of course they're up to all sorts of shenanigans a parmigiano. Sneaking around at night, climbing on rooftops. Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. Is that what I think it is? Is that? Is it? Is that? Is that a? It is! Then it jumps ahead in time where they infiltrate a Panamanian prison. Okay. <laughs> All of that just to access the former cell of a buddy of the legendary pirate Henry Avery. And what can I say? He's. Ten. They are looking for leads <laughs> regarding a giant hidden treasure. Unfortunately, they get compromised and long story short, his brother gets short. <laughs> then Uncharted 1, 2 and 3 happen and since every brave adventurer settles down at some point because more than gold and oil and diamonds, girls, we need them every day. Recognize it. ACG is <laughs> Nathan Drake has finally retired and lives happily ever yeah, after with his wife, aka Basti Blonde takes it hardcore anal and they play Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Or at least so he had hoped. His brother suddenly shows up out of nowhere and is like, I understand Hitler. So obviously now they have no choice but to get that treasure. But he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. Wait, you still haven't played an Uncharted game? Uh... What? It's a third person action game of intercourse, I love sex! And it's got a lot of climbing. Nate's been an avid climber since childhood. Right, Jum Jum? It sure is, Ranton. I mean, ju just look at him. Like, just just climb climb the thing. Climb the thick. Climb the thing. Nate. Nate. Climb the thick. Cl climb the fucking thing! Now, they added some extra spice in form of a rope. And sorry, no, you cannot use it to hang yourself. I tried. You just throw it at the designated spot and start swinging. Like your mom on weekends. Then you got action. Drake can carry a main weapon and a secondary plus 1, 2, 3, 4 granaten. Hit markers indicate that your bullets have landed and it turns red like blood once the enemy is down. Additionally, now he has the ability to mark enemies and they have an awareness meter to help you circumnavigate them should you take the stealthy approach. Nothing over there, eh? Grass automatically hides you, which I find funny. I mean, la 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 la, la 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 la. Can't you see? I am right here, actually. <laughs> Lol. Note that there is no crouch button. He does it on his own if nobody spotted him yet. Of course, close combat is also an option. Just spam that square to throw some epic enchiladas combinadas, and if the enemy counters you, just spam that triangle. Triangle squares? What is this? Geometry? <laughs> 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 no, it's buttons. Although the franchise has stuck to their guns in the past, being a little unwilling to change up the ravioli formioli, we do have some new additions. For example, the highly anticipated race! Ing. Okay, um... And diving. Occasionally you get to solve some riddles where you first need to take a look into your desunoto and afterwards you take a look at some... In terms of progression, Uncharted 4 is still very much a linear game, but attentive players will find interesting treasure <laughs> notes and optional conversations that you can engage in. There are some more open-ended locations where you are free to explore at your own pace, but they remain the exception and so do the very scripted cinematic set pieces. Yes, I'm reviewing a two-year-old game, and no, I'm not retired. 
Full disclosure here. I am actually not a big fan of this Indiana Jones. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Native American Jones. Sumimasen. These types of stories with a hidden treasure of the Chinese or Nazis in Shamala Gala Fuck My Fara is a gabagool. <laughs> it's all a bit uh, ridiculous, isn't it? One trapdoor leads to another trapdoor, and before you know it, your son's a shemale. Disgusting. But as always, I deliver nuance, so here we go. Nathan Drake is a strong man. So strong, in fact. What the fuck? His upper body strength allows him to finger his wife with such power and precision that all she's got left down there are skid marks. Now that piece of information is key because the environments are gorgeous from start to finish. Just look at the scenery. Wait, let me get a better angle here. Okay, so back up. So now if we take- Ah, damn it. Wait, back up, back up, back up. Oh, too, too far. Okay. Now if we take- Fuck. Alright, so to the left. Nah, no. It's fine. Now, if we- damn it. Okay, now, now let's check out- oh, fuck! How Uncharted 4 can keep up such an insane level of detail over the course of a 22 chapter long campaign is a mind the boggle! R-E-S-P-E-C-T R-E-S-P-E-C-T Been too long. Hi. I think this is probably what I love the most about it. The places that it takes you to. You are going on a real adventure and you'll see and discover plenty of awesome shit. That's a guarantee. Case in point, look, I just found another... Okay, what the fuck is that? And now that they had four installments to polish their gameplay, it's not surprising that it's pretty damn solid. Despite its undeniable simplicity, it keeps you on edge. Like Jenny in Forrest Gump. He's a simple man and she didn't let him come inside her. She kept him on edge until the end. When they fucked. I especially appreciated that the shooting mechanics finally got overhauled and brought up to speed with industry standards. In past games, they felt a little off to me. That's finally over. Isn't it incredible how the simple addition of hit markers can improve the hit feedback by a, by a huge amount, making the gunfights a whole lot more satisfying. I think you can tell just by watching the footage. First UAV online. Yeah, that is nice. Even the new driving segments are a breath of fresh fun, and they bring a lot of size to the maps, which further increases their depth. And we all know that size matters, and even I can admit that, despite the fact that small penis. The aspect of parkour and climbing, frankly, hasn't changed much since the beginning. It looks good, it plays well, every third ledge you hold on breaks. Ultimately, it's same old, same old. Only during the few moments of sheer lunacy will you actually feel engaged again. They are absolutely insane, over the top and epic and are still my favorite moments of the game. What really surprised me this time around was how much the story was able to hook me. This is the only Uncharted game where that happened. The voice acting and facial compilations are top notch and the amount of emotionality really caught me off guard. This is a cinematic experience through and through with excellent pacing. So it wasn't bad enough to leave me in that place? How could you do this to me, Sam? Wait, wait, I'm doing this for you. The money I make is for the both of us. And then in a couple of years, couple when you're out- years? Take me with you. I, I can barely support myself. I'll pitch in. I know you think the orphanage sucks. You have no idea. Yeah, but it's the best thing for you right now. I am not a big fan of riddles, due to my IQ being none of your fucking business, okay? But I enjoyed them here. You see, because I am fairly educated, I know what this is. That's the number 12 in ancient Rome-ish. But yeah, I see issues here. Not major, but signify dirty cunt. And to all my rantonis out there, I'm sorry, but I have to stand up for what I believe. I'm a man, not some pussy ass bitch beta cuck who lets other people walk all over Anton, them. Anton, for the what? third time, clean your socks! Don't get me wrong, there really isn't anything bad here. There are two tiny things that I don't like much, a bigger one and an overarching problem. So the two smaller issues are number one, I don't like automatic stealth. Never did, never will. I want to be in control of whether my character crouches or not. This is really nitty picky, but I'm sure some of you can relate. I want to play. I don't want the game to play for me. And number two, close combat is quite odd. I mean, it's been a while, but in Uncharted 3, I think it was more functional and responsive. Now it's just spamming the buttons, but that's also not a biggie. 
Now the actual biggie is one that I have mentioned in other reviews before and I can't believe that this is still a problem today. The open world segments do not work well. And here's why. Listen, I am the kind of gamer who always wants to see everything before I move on, right? And because the game won't tell you which way is the one that moves on the story, I'm afraid to explore a place because I think there's probably no turning back if I go further here, so let's check out some other places first. Now, what usually ends up happening is that I accidentally go too far at some point and then I'm like, this ain't right. And I've reached the main target and I can't go back and I missed out on about 90% of all the optional locations. I fucking hate that shit. Man, this still happens in way too many games. There would be an easy way to fix this by simply giving the player one quest marker that says, yo, over here you dick. And then you know that everything else is optional. It may make me look like an unexperienced bitch, but also shut up. And lastly, the ultimate issue. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End is Nathan Drake's final chapter. And even though he's not a very interesting character and he's probably not even supposed to be, he deserves a proper send-off, a proper ejaculation into his own mouth. A final chapter where things get personal, challenging and special. And it's just don't. The story is extremely predictable. No more metaphysical aspect like in past games. And also quite laughably cliche in some parts. Like 9-11. It's too soon. It says nothing of importance and meaning and the epilogue is probably the most self-absorbed thing I've seen in a long time. This should and could have been an epic glass tale that blows our minds, instead it just blows. It's a few tiny improvements here and there, the rest is just another by the book treasure hunt. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, failed to surprise me on every level. Bah ouais, c'est bizarre. But yeah, don't, don't, you shouldn't walk away from this video thinking the game is crap, okay? I always like to focus a little bit too much on the negative. It, it, it's solid, it's smooth, it's fun, it's just... The Uncharted games have always been very solid experiences in terms of amount of content offered. And A Thief's End is no exception. A whopping 22 chapters that take you all over the world. Five different difficulty settings and a whole bunch of outfits, game modifiers such as no gravity and visual filters such as cell shading. It's pretty damn Ooh. You can replay any level and they even added the possibility to just play the enemy encounters again if you just want some pure action. On medium, it took me about 30 hours until I saw the credits roll. There are some collectibles here and there, but I don't think they're a good incentive to replay the entire game. Guys, Yanis Nai. That was Russian for Wapujadao. That was Chinese for Junusipa. That was French for. I just don't see the milestone here. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, is a very solid 2 out of 10. <laughs> No, it's like a 7, I would say, maybe a generous 8, somewhere in between that. Now before you go, please remember to follow me on Twitter, 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 Twitter. I also just launched an Instagram, but I don't know how much I'm gonna follow that. We'll see, maybe Aroti Karoti. And Patreon! And guys, the end of this year, I'm going to fuck so many games up the arsh! I'm gonna be at 100,000 billion subscribers by the end of this century, so... Take this, ACG. Coming up for you, food rangers. <laughs>